Another disturbing and scandalous public disclosure about child sex abuse and other inappropriate sexual behavior in the Catholic Church. The Vatican today releasing its report on how former Cardinal Theodore McCarrick rose to prominence despite continued allegations of misconduct. McCarrick, with deep ties to our area, he was ordained here in New York and was eventually elevated in New Jersey to Bishop of Metuchen and then Archbishop of Newark. Pope John Paul II then appointed him Archbishop of Washington before making him a cardinal. He became one of America's most powerful Catholic leaders, all of it amid continued allegations of shocking and illegal behavior. I would assume reporter Michelle Charlesworth went through the report. She's live in Newark with the story. Michelle. Well, at the heart of this, the top leadership in the Catholic Church going back decades, who knew what, when, and also the trusting innocence of boys. This 400-page report indicts the Vatican for turning a blind eye and points a finger at Vatican leadership, including Pope John Paul II. At the heart of this, alleged sexual abuse of boys and young men by the hands of a man who had a lot of power and was elevated to cardinal, even though complaints about him came in over decades. This is James Grine, who says he was abused starting at age 11 and that the abuse went on for two decades after that. He's suing the church and former Cardinal McCarrick. McCarrick was defrocked by Pope Francis last year. As a child, when your father says, you must go, and Teddy says, you have to go, I guess this is the way it's supposed to be. This is a picture of James Grine as a boy with McCarrick. Grind says when he was 30, he told Pope John Paul II in person. He was abused by McCarrick as a boy and begged him to do something. Started in 1969 when he exposed himself to me in my mother and father's house in Tenafly, New Jersey. And then he abused me physically, morally, uh, spiritually. On his radio show, Cardinal Dolan defended earlier investigations by the Catholic Church. There was never any cold hard facts or never any identifiable allegations, nor is it true that officials of the church failed to take it seriously. Former Cardinal McCarrick is not in prison. He's now 90 years old living as a layperson in Florida. This is what he said about celibacy seven years ago. The nature of giving yourself to the Lord completely is hard to do. Maybe many of us don't do it. As, as well as we should do. Maybe I'm not doing it as well as I should be. Mm. Cardinal Dolan also said in a statement what he has said before in the past, anyone who alleges abuse should go to the police, go to the DA's office, go to the DA, file a complaint.